Hello Taurus and welcome to your Astro Flower reading going from the 26th to the 2nd, 2nd of July. Uh, you will have your monthly readings coming out next week. Um, so yes, welcome to your reading. I hope you have a lovely reading. Let's just see what's going on here. Page of Cups. That was funny, that came out in that X-Flare sort of thing. So this is that sort of believing. I think it's almost as if like you can feel everything is coming to the surface. It's like that moment when you're cooking the sauce and stuff like that. And you can just see those first little bubbles starting to appear. And that's what I think it is here. And it's bringing on a vibrant sort of energy of believing in a future. Um, but also thinking about things, thinking about people, people thinking about you. This is a really beautiful exchange of energies here. You're opening up this path to live your happiness. That's what it seems like. Or well, that's what the energy is sort of like trying to convey to you at the moment. It's really nice, actually. Beautiful energy. You've got a lovely, vibrant energy at the moment, Taurus. Um, you know, things are really... It's, it's that moment before the wave breaks when you're on a board and it, it just the board takes you and you're ready to rock and roll, you know. So, yeah, let's just see uh, what's going on in your karmic message for your relationship side. Uh, temperance, patience, really. There is a case for that. I understand that the, you've got this sort of sensation that you want things to move on. And that's what's causing maybe the impatience. Therefore, you've got to be patient. I think it's more a case that you've got to adapt maybe a little bit of the rhythms of the people that that are dear to you, that you want to, you know, sort of develop as relationships. And this could be family, friends, community, you know, obviously partner, any future partners and so forth. But I think it's being patient you know, with yourself, but being patient with the outside world, basically. That's what I think it seems to be. Yeah, you've got the two of, two of cups here. The, the universe here is really... I think this is where you're stepping into you. Um, really stepping into your shoes in regards to the relationships here. It's almost as if, like, you're feeling the flow. And this is where you're going to have to be a little bit patient. Um with other people and you've got to you know sort of enjoy that sort of slow sort of sliding and then sort of bringing up and, and you know you slide and take the rhythm back up and stuff like that that's how the universe is trying to encourage you um in this reading here in this karmic message here with the patience enjoy the moment allow things to allow things to expand as it were you know um it should be a free and easy sort of thing really and you should feel like very distressed in regards to your relationships. What's, how is your past guides influencing you? Um, yeah, Queen of Swords. They're almost sort of reiterating the fact that you've chosen a direction uh, in life. Um, and as you've chosen this direction, you've, um, you know, you've committed to this direction. And I think this is where the impatience comes from. You want things to move on in certain aspects of your life, in certain relationships. And this could be family, this could be friends, this could be, you know, it, whichever relationships is really concerning you at the moment. Um, and, you know, you'd like it to go a lot quicker, you know, to get to where you want to be. If you say, like, you know, you want to move in with someone or... Um, you know, you want to tell other people or, um, or you want, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's that sort of thing. I'm sort of like, you know, making a mark, sort of showing the world that, um, you know, we are, we are one. And, and as I say, that could not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean a couple here. It could be, you know, just, uh, as well with your sort of friends and family and so forth. Got a nice little spider there. Excuse me, my friend. I honestly believe you're better off there. Um, yeah, so, I, you know, and I think it's you sticking to this. And that patience, that slowing down is having to compensate uh, for the rest of the world around you in order to get what you want or to get to where you want to be in regards to those relationships. And even with your family, just to sort of show that, yeah, I'm, you know, going out with your dad or your mum or your sister or your brother or your cousin, whatever, you know, going to the cinema, it's a mark of, 
it's a mark of um, sort of connection in a way and that's the sort of thing you know uh, I, you know I think you want things to move on in that sort of respect um, let's just see uh, what's going on with uh, your future self the magician this is what I'm saying you're trying to manifest something you're trying to bring it together into unison you know the the thing about the magician he's got all the elements on the table he's got everything's on the table that he can use in and and the magician then has to use his spirit and his intuition and his almost his desire as well and the way we use intuition correctly is not just like i want therefore um you have to take it into you know harmony with everything i personally think you've got to take it in harmony with everything around you so if i want it to rain the trees have got to be okay with that if i don't want it to rain the trees have got to be okay with that and together we make a unison sort of force and it allows you to manifest things a lot better uh, a lot easier um yeah so you know that's where the patience needs to come in because once you start tying in with other people uh, because our manifestations usually, nine times out of ten, especially in the relationship side, depend on other people that are around us. So uh, it's it's having that patience with other people and etc. as you go forward. And it's going to help you manifest things. And I know this is what you want. You want things to move on. You want, you want, you want it all. You want it all. You want it all. Three of Cups. Yeah. I think you will get it as well, you know, Taurus. <laughs> That's the thing. If you want something, you're more likely to get it, Taurus. Uh, let's just see what's going on in your material side. you got the Ace of Cups. This ties in really nice to the local energy of the overall energy here. That Ace of Cups, um, you could be like, it's really weird here. Like, So if we took the Page of Cups, it's as almost as if like the overall energy is that person and you're that fish in the cup and you're bringing that cup to the situation sort of saying this is what I want and being very clear about what you want in the way of material world if you're very clear with yourself I think this is it's going to help you enormously to get on so it's very clear about you know bringing your heart into the situation but very clear about what you want to do in that job um, you know, what sort of money you want, what sort of position you want, how many hours you want to work, you know, it's, it's all those things tying it in together. That's what the manifestation thing's all about as well. Um, and here is the universe or you or your karmic message is to bring your heart to the, to the party, basically. Bring your heart to the party. How's the universe influencing you? Yeah, you've got the two of pentacles going there. Um, two of pentacles concentrating on one thing at a time um, it's also a choice in a way between two things and some of them can be heavier than others Bonjour. Um, some things can be heavier than others I think it's like you're it's almost like you're weighing it up is that like, there's an opportunity here that uh, I think you should not be missing because you're not putting your heart into it that could well be one side of it all. And the other side of the coin is, because it's always in yin and yang, it doesn't just go one way here. You know, it's like the Wheel of Fortune, as I was explaining in the X-Flare and the uh, Solstice sort of extra reading sort of thing. Here is, you know, it, it can play in both ways, like everything in life, you know. Water's great, but when you start getting flooded, it's maybe not brilliant. <laughs> so, you know, the other way it plays is, and if you put your heart into it, it's going to make you, you know, the universe is going to make you really focused and give you this offering, basically. You know, four of cups. That is, that is that cup there. And I think this is your past self sort of saying, um, I've had, you know, you've had to work hard to get there. And, uh, you know, and there's, and there's certain things along the way that you would have liked to have done that it was just impossible at the time. Don't look at that as sort of didn't work. Look at it as a way of sort of saying, okay, what did I learn from it? Why didn't it work? 
not to do it necessarily again, but how can I help that to apply that in my life? And that's when you start applying that Ace of Cups there, what you have down at your karmic mission. So don't look to the past, look to the future. And I think this is what the, almost is like your past guides are telling you this sort of thing. Don't look that way, don't look our way. You know, look forwards, <laughs> sort of thing. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, I think this is where they're keeping you concentrated on what you're doing. This is your forward, guys. This is what you're manifesting. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, you can really, um, yeah, do some really good quality work here. Um, where you can um, you can manifest uh, a whole treasure trove of resources for you, I think. And you're heading towards that. You're heading towards this, you know, this complete abundance, really, because you're doing the work and you're putting the time in. And if you do put the time in with your heart, once you start really putting your heart into it, you know, loving every second, you will define the limit of how far it goes, basically, to us. You will do define the limit of how far it goes. So, let's just have a look and see what the overall energy uh, for the overall outcome is. Mm, seven of Swords. Playing smart. That's quite interesting. Hmm. I think this plays smart in the way that your patience on your relationship side and your heart's desire on your um, material side um, will obviously be a way that's going to be seeming like you're playing smart and you're helping yourself out. I think this is more than that than anything is. I don't think it's playing smart as in, you know, um, against others. You know, normally he's stealing the swords from the opposite army. Um, so basically he's avoiding the war by stealing any weapons. Doesn't necessarily mean he wins. But he's playing smart, it's a good thing, you know, that's the sort of thing. And here I think it's, because you're playing smart with yourself, giving yourself a bit of patience with the connections with other people that are around you, and also putting your heart into <coughs> your um, material world. <coughs> <coughs> that's the, the sensation, excuse me, that's the sensation that you will get um, throughout life. Let's just do a bit of clarification with the um, with the lights here. Page of Cups, you get the Ten of Wands. I think you've worked really hard actually, Taurus. And I think you put the time in and put the effort in and everything like that. And it's almost as if like you're still trying to do a lot of stuff that maybe you don't need to do. And there's some things maybe you need to let go of in order for your heart to shine and for you to get the resources out of it. So it may be a case of say like, um, you're doing a restaurant and you're trying to cut all the vegetables and doing the cooking at the same time, where you kind of, you're getting some success and you kind of think, well, in that case, I'll get someone to help me out and they can cut the vegetables and everything like that and I'll do the cooking because that's what I love. You know, it's that sort of thing, you know, realizing that you've got a lot of resources in fact with you that you've been putting into this and you can then sort of share those resources with other people but it's going to make you a much better in a much better position with the temperance card you get the high priestess i think this is that playing smart aspect it's foreseeing things as they come forward it's that whole sort of thing of sliding of being patient allowing reality to capture you up you know to connect to you and stuff like that um, I think that's what you've got to learn this week here. Let's just see what's going on with the uh, Two of Cups. You get the Six of Cups. It's unifying oneself is understanding the joys of the past journey, of the journey that we've been on and the joyous parts of those journeys. Now, um, you know, it's, It's offering the gifts towards you to understanding. And that's what the universe is trying to say to you here. If you want to really connect with your higher self, remember and understand and integrate all those good times and happy times that you've had in the past. And it will make you shine incredibly. You know, it will, it will bring you in unison with yourself. 
in regards to the relationships that are around you. And I think you'll really enjoy it. Let's just see uh, what's going on with the Queen of Swords. <laughs> yeah, this is your past leading into your future. And what does it do? It gets the magician. Basically, because you've decided to go on this path, all of a sudden, you can connect to everything that is around you in order to bring in that path that you so decided before your birthday period. In your, what I, in the Astro Flower, we call your autumn period. Let's just see what's going on with the magician. See what, that's the uh, influencing thing by that. Three of, of uh, pentacles. This is like the, um, as I said earlier on, it's connecting with people in a very physical way. And it's a very physical statement that you want to make to the world in regards to your relationships. So if there is an opportunity to go somewhere with someone or even you offering to sort of say, you know, do you fancy going down the beach? It's, it's a physical, you know, sort of offering in a way. And, and I think that's going to help you to manifest things. It could even be sort of like saying to the whole family, sort of saying, let's meet up for a picnic. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. It's, there's, there's, this, there's this sort of manifestation where it's a really beautiful physical connection that you can have with other people that are around you. Very nice Taurus. Lovely that's looking. You know, I've got a few Tauruses around me and I, you know, that's good for that. I like, it's got, you know, respect, I think, respect. Let's just have a look um, what's going on on your material side. With the Ace of Cups, you get the page of, um, not page, Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is about, you can see that it's a lot of rhythm, it's going very fast, very sociable, dancing. It's rhythmical in the sense of progression. Uh, it's rhythmically putting, it's consistently putting your heart into the situation. That's what I'm getting. You, you've got to learn to consistently put your heart into the situation and don't flag. Because sometimes, Taurus, you've got a lot, a lot of force, but, you know, it's like, it's, it's, if you imagine, it's like a bodybuilder trying to do a marathon. You know, and that bodybuilder may not have the, the same sort of stamina. You know, you have much more of an explosive energy. And what is the idea is here is with your heart, it's just allowing those explosions to be maybe slightly smaller in the way of energy, but much more consistent, like a heartbeat. Boo, 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 boo. That's quite a fast heartbeat, but you know what I mean? Two of, two of pentacles. This is where fortune is really, this is where the universe has decided to give you a chance here in the Wheel of Fortune. Let's play the Wheel of Fortune. I explained all about that in, um, uh, yeah, I explained all about that in the X-Flare and the uh, Solstice. It'll be linked at the end of this reading. You'll be able to see it. Uh, and you'll, you'll understand the comings and goings. Exactly what I'm saying here. It plays in two worlds. I even said the Wheel of Fortune. I explained the Wheel of Fortune on the two of Pentacles. So, yeah, there you go. So, universe is, it's up to you. It's up to you, Taurus. You know, if you put the time and effort into it, you're going to get you're going to get the results and if you put your heart into it more and more than anything else you're going to get the results um yeah let's just see what that four of cups is all about two cars wanting to come out not enough clearness <coughs> i think basically in the past it was going really quickly it's like when you start a business to make your first thousand is a lot easier to make your first second thousand. And I think this is where you've come out of a phase where you've had a lot, a lot of progression. You want it to continue going on like that. And this is where we're on to the explosive energy thing. Having a consistency that goes through you. Now you've had that first real explosion. Now you've got to get into a rhythmical, stable condition here. And I think this is where you might be sort of saying, I want it to go quicker, I want it to go quicker. But it's can't do and it shouldn't do so uh you know and that's a little bit of that patience as well so your future self is uh sort of saying with the eight of pentacles here yeah it's been going on quick you've got a lot of work on your you know on the on the work surface you've got a lot of things on the in the in the firing pan 
So let's get it all together and let's pull this sauce together and make a lovely meal out of it all. And <laughs> you got the four cups. The only thing stopping you from doing some really excellent work is by sort of harping on about the past. I'm, I'm not calling you out here. I'm not saying you harp on. I'm just sort of saying, if you kind of go, ah, oh, but if I had had this, if I'd had that, if I'd, no. It's, that's not helping you. You know, I, it's, you're gonna get recognized for your hard work that you've done. And you should know that. And I think as well, you know, with the, with the chariot car there, it is actually coming in a lot quicker than you think. And this is only one week. You've got your monthly readings coming out next week. I'd be interested to see if that doesn't just go whoop. There's a real sort of like, you know, hockey stick sort of graph, as it were, and things really start picking up. Trust in your work, Taurus. You've got good work, man. You've got good work. You did good work. You should know it. Trust in that Ace of Cups, because that's where it's coming back to. You know, three cups that might have been spent, and now, you know, you can use that one cup, and you'll fill up the three cups with ease. <laughs> the other three cups are with ease. You will have joyous times, you know. What's this playing smart all about? It's a new beginning. See, that's what I talked about. You know, that's what I said there in the sort of sense where you get the hockey stick. It may even be coming at the end of this week that you make a breakthrough in, um, I think it's more in your, in your material side, but it could also be equally on your um, relationship side. You, you make this break and, and then it's a whole new ball game. And you've got to play smart here. You've got to play smart. And you're, I think you're getting your just, just desserts, you know, your, your rewards, as it were. I really do. So there you go, Taurus. Uh, thank you very much for being here. I hope you got the best out of all of this uh, reading. Also, at the same time, thank you very much for supporting this channel. Um, yeah, really do. Don't forget, I've had the... Um, uh, solstice readings coming out so that's a three month reading you've got your monthly readings coming out next week if not i will see you for next week in the meantime don't forget life should be fun so please do enjoy